Welcome to Techie Jack. I am starting a new series of videos journey with Windows Server 2025 from basic to advanced level. I have already created a playlist for this which includes videos for Windows Server 2025 new feature installation and few others. In this video we will get started with some basic settings for our Windows Server 2025 before promoting it to the domain controller or any other role. So let's go to the server and complete some basic task. So right now we are on our Hyper-V server and I have a fresh machine installed as a Windows Server 2025 evaluation version of a data center edition that is VM01. Let me connect with this machine. So this is a fresh server and before configuring your Windows Server 2025 or promoting it to a DC, there are some basic settings you have to do so that you can proceed in a proper way. If you see here the computer name, if you see the computer name of the machine, it was automatically assigned with the installation. You can see the device is this, the computer name is this. And if you see the ncpa.cpl command for the network connection, you can see here it is using a dynamic IP from the DHCP. So if you are planning to configure it as an Active Directory server, you should assign a static IP to this Windows server. So let's try to assign a static IP to this server and I will assign it with like 168.2.180, 192.168.2.1 as a gateway and for now I will assign the same DNS 2.1 and will click on OK and for now I have disabled the IPv6. So let me click on OK and you can see our network connection is up. We have a network access and status we have so our server has the static IP of 192.168.2.180 so our IP has been assigned now if we check the connectivity with the internet we can ping Google so IP has been assigned and if we see here you can see adjust date and time make sure that you choose a correct date and time zone where you are in we are in the Asia Pacific so we have to change this time zone this UTC 530 you have to set this time zone accordingly IP has been done our time zone has been set let's try to rename our server and I will rename it as a my DC 01 so let me click on this rename because I am planning to install Active Directory services on this server I will rename it as my DC 01 and click on next it's asking to restart the machine. Let me reboot it now. So now the computer has been rebooted and if you check the IP config, you can see the IP address what we have assigned here is 2.180. That is correct. And if you go and check with the computer name, you can see the device name is MyDC01. And let's confirm the time zone as well. We have a correct time zone. Even from here, you can see the region setting country or region you can choose your country and the windows display language I will keep it as a United States English so my basic setting has been configured to get started with this windows server that's it for this video and in our next video we will install active directory domain services on this server